welcome back we are discussing on the we are discussing the analysis of cables main cable anchor cable and if main cable is passed over a frictionless pulley and anchored on the other side and if a main cable is passed over a saddle or supported to saddle support are connected to saddle support and anchor cable on the other side now we'll see some numerical problems now a bridge cable is suspended from tars 80 meter apart this this is the horizontal length of the cable and carries a load of 30 kilo newton per meter that is here because of the road here in the because of this suspender let this load transfer as udl to the cable of intensity 30 kilo newton per meter on the entire span if the maximum sag is 8 meter because of this loading maximum sag that will be because of the symmetry sag is maximum let it be it is 8 meter they ask you to calculate the maximum tension in the cable as we know tension will be maximum at the support points that is a and also at b same that is the first part of the question to find the tension maximum tension if the cable is supported by saddles which are stayed by wires inclined at 30 degree to the horizontal determine the forces acting on the tars we'll see that with free body diagram it is one is sad if the same inclination of the backstay that is anchor cable passes over pulley determine the forces on the tars that means both the support conditions we have to discuss almost it covers all the analysis that what we have discussed okay this is the figure span 80 meter sag maximum sag our dip is 8 meter let h a and v a are the horizontal and vertical reaction at support a h b and v b are the horizontal and vertical reaction at support b for equilibrium if you apply sigma fx is equal to 0 directly we can write h a is equal to h b or h that's why it is written h only they are equal now coming to the analysis that is sigma f y is equal to zero we know by symmetry v a is equal to v b and that will be equal to total load divided by 2 now this is pb va it is subjected to an UDL of 30 kilo Newton per meter now here A is equal to VB equal to total load divided by 2 we know this UDL is equivalent to an imaginary point load of magnitude equal to intensity of UDL into length over which it is distributed because 
it is given the span is 80 meter correct yes. therefore this will be equal to total load is 30 into 80 divided by 2 it is 1200 that is VA is equal to VB is equal to 1200 now then applying Sigma M about this H A uh, so H B V B V A H about this point. This is pan eighty meter. Okay, now about this point, let us see if you apply that is sigma mc is equal to 0. Any one side you should consider for equilibrium. That is, if you consider left side, the forces which are responsible to cause the bending moment are h. VA and this UDL for a length of 40 meter only. Now this is subjected to UDL 80 meter. Therefore, about C to consider left side H. H creates like this. It is anti clockwise minus H into its distance. This it is given. This is. Eight meter H A line of action this H A R H line of action is here. It is causing like this anti clockwise, therefore minus H into its perpendicular distance is the shortest distance. This eight meter. That means into eight. Then VA about C, VA is causing a moment like this. It is clockwise. Plus VA, it is 1200 area. VA and VB is 1200. Into its perpendicular distance is this distance. It is half of 80, nothing but 40. Then this UDL to the left of C we are considering. Therefore, this UDL also responsible for some moment about C. It is acting down. Now, this UDL. is equivalent to a point load an imaginary point load of magnitude equal to intensity of UDL that is 30 into this length it is half half of 80 that is 
40 meter into its distance will be this it is 20 40 by 2 therefore we know this is creating about c like this it is anti clockwise minus 30 into 40 is an equivalent point load into its distance is this 20 equal to 0 h is anti clockwise about c va that is 1200 is clockwise about c plus and this is anti clockwise for minus equivalent point load into its off length will be the perpendicular distance from this h you can find it is 3000 kilometer now they ask you to find the maximum tension in the cable maximum tension will be here that is at support here VA H and this is the maximum T max it is making this angle tangent to this point a that is at a d max will be equal to v a square plus h square and the square root v a 1200 plus h we have just calculated it is 3000 squared under square you get e max as 3231.1 kilonewton that is the maximum tension not to find this theta, this theta, inclination of the cable with horizontal at A. For equilibrium of this point, H will be equal to T max. Cos theta if you resolve it that is for sigma fx is equal to 0 at a h will be equal to t max cos theta therefore cos theta will be equal to t max divided by h that is 3231.1 here divided by h we know 3000 theta we get 21.8 degrees now what is asked It is asked that is if the cable is supported by saddles which are stayed by wires inclined at 30 degrees. That means other side. I'll come to that later. First part is over. Maximum tension in the cable. Now I found the inclination of the cable here with horizontal as 21.8 degrees. Determine the forces acting on the tower. Okay. That is 21.8. Now, first part, 
cable supported by saddle here. Now, Case one, the first part. First part. If cable is supported on the saddle, how it will be the saddle like this? It is placed on the top. It is like this. T main cable here yeah. T anchor cable it is like this this is theta we found 21.8 degrees it is given The cable is supported by saddle which are stayed by wires inclined at 30 degrees. That means this is 30 degrees. This is our alpha. This is our theta. They ask you to calculate vertical force on this and horizontal force will not come in there. Now cable is supported on the this one. Now T anchor we can calculate T anchor or it is T1 say. For equilibrium of the saddle, sigma fx is equal to 0 at saddle because saddle can not move. That means T1 cos alpha is equal to Tm max that is here. This is maximum. T max cos theta. Here T1 it is required to find. Alpha is known. It is 30 degree. T max is known. It is three to three one point eight. This theta is known. It is twenty one point eight. We found. Therefore, T one we can calculate from this, and it is. 3464.1 kilo newton even we can calculate there is no horizontal force that is why sigma fx no horizontal force
the four sigma of x is equal to 0, we can calculate T1. Now, vertical force will be and the tower will be T1 sin alpha that is T1 here along this it is sin because away from 30 degree T1 sin alpha and T max sin theta plus T max sin theta here T1 just now we are calculated it is 34 64.1 alpha it is given 30 degree T max we have calculated it is 32 31.8 theta that also we have calculated 21.8 all are known in the right hand side therefore vertical force on the tar can be calculated and it will be 2931.98 kilo that is the analysis of saddle support now if it is second case that is this saddle support that is set cable T1 cos alpha T max therefore T1 we can find nothing but TA and vertical force of the saddle is 2931.98 kilo newton now the next is cable is supported on the pulley like this No. Pulley six to eight hour now. Cable here, an anchor cable, if you draw a tangent here, we get T max that we have calculated. And this angle we know 21.8 degrees correct yes and this is given 30 degree and this tension it is T anchor cable is equal to T max because it is frictionless fully force on either side will be same therefore vertical force on this vertical force on the tar will be equal to T max
sin theta this is t max if you resolve along the vertical line away from theta t max sin theta plus if you resolve this t a or t max same along this vertical line it is away from this angle 30 therefore that is also sin t max sin alpha here t max we know this 32 31.1 this is also same and theta is 30 degree it is given in the question inclination of the cable on the other side alpha of t max we calculated 21 point sorry reverse this is 21.8 this alpha is given 30 degree therefore if you substitute and if you calculate it is 3231.1 into sin 21.8 plus sin 30 you will get if you calculate can you tell me 2815 0.48 kilonewton that is the vertical force on the tower now because of pulley there is unbalanced force or horizontal force that is on the tower horizontal force equal to That is T max cos theta. If you resolve this T max cos theta, and this is on the other side, the four minus T max cos thirty. T max we know here thirty two point. 32 31.1 theta we know 21.8 and alpha it is 30 degree if you calculate we get horizontal force as 201.82 kilo newton that is the complete solution for this problem that is this one Usually this will be very less. Unbalanced force may be to this side or may be to this side. Depending upon the inclination of this anchor cable, it will be made. That is, the same inclination of the backstay passes over pulley determine the forces on the tars. That is, this horizontal force and vertical force. This is the backstay. Nothing but anchor cable hope you understand we'll go to next problem second problem almost similar type a cable a span 120 meter this cable span 120 meter and dip 10 meter this maximum dip carries a load of 6 kilo newton per meter this UDL which is acting on the cable download find the maximum tension in the cable it is ultimate 
maximum tension will be at support. Then five, the forces transmitted to the supporting pier, that means star at A and B, if the cable passes over a smooth pulley on top of the pier, the ankle cable is 30 degree to the horizontal. Previous problem, both the cases, saddle and pulley, here it is only pulley. But the another part of the problem is different. They ask you to determine the maximum bedding moment for the pier if the height of the pier is 15 meter. If it is a saddle support, no horizontal force, no bending moment on the pier. But if it is supported on pulleys, then there will be unbalanced force and hence there will be bending moment on the tar and that will be maximum at the fixed support. If the height of the pier is 15 meter, they ask you to find the bending moment. Now, as usual, if you are placing by Fy is equal to 0, or by symmetry, Va will be equal to Vb and will be equal to total load divided by 2. 6 kilonewton newton, uh, kilo newton per meter is the UDL. Acting over a span of 120 meter. Therefore, total load, load will be 6 into 120, 720 kilonewton meter, kilonewton. That will be transferred to VA and VB equally. That is 720 by 2, it is 360 kilonewton. VA and VB. Yeah. Ah, this one. It is VA is equal to VB, that will be total load divided by 2, it is 360 kN. Okay, now sigma MC is equal to 0. Sigma MC is equal to 0 by considering any one side. Let us say consider left side. H about C creates like this anti clockwise minus that is minus into its distance. The line of action of H is e along this line. Therefore, shortest distance is this. 10 meter measure to the line of action that is minus h into 10 then this va we found 360 about c it is causing movement like this clockwise plus va into its distance is half of 120 this half of 120 that is VA is 360 into half of 120, 60. Now UDL up to this length, mid length, 6 kilonewton per meter, causing 
ducting downward means causing like this and t clockwise therefore minus this first let us convert this udl into equivalent point load that means 6 intensity of udl into length of udl that is half length of the cable only span only 6 into 60 equivalent point load into its perpendicular distance acts at 60 by 2 half of this half span that is 6 into 60 into half of 60 is equal to 0 from this we can get h a or it is h v let us say h as 1080 kilonewton now v a we found it is 360 and h we found 1080 kilonewton Now to find the maximum tension in the cable, it is absolute, maximum tension will be at support A or at B. Now T will act tangential to this cable like this, therefore the T will be resultant of these two. It is H squared plus V A squared under square. That is 3 1080 square plus 360 square. It will be maximum tension is 1138.42 kilonewton. Now, inclination of the cable here, yeah, if you draw tangent, its inclination with this horizontal, it is theta, will be h by t max, h by t max, because it is nothing but t max cos theta will be equal to h or cos theta is h by t max h is 1080 t max is here we get theta 18.435 degrees that is with the horizontal now next part of the question if the back stay or anchor cable is making 30 degree with the horizontal they ask you to find the bending moment here and the horizontal force here and the vertical force on the tar. Simple. A resolution. Horizontal force transferred to PR will be T max cos theta. That is cos 18.435 minus T max cos 30 is minus to the left side and this is to the right side t max cos 30 or t max if you take common cos theta minus cos alpha theta is 18.435 and alpha is 30 degree t max we have calculated 1138.42 for cos 18.435 minus cos 30 if you calculate you get horizontal force on the tar is 94 kilonewton. Now, maximum bending moment on the pier. Now, here it will be like this. This is the tar. Unbalanced force. It is this
unbalanced forces 2815 just a minute by this force it is 94.099 kilonewton height of the tar is 15 meter it is given they ask you to calculate the maximum body moment here body moment maximum is equal to 94.099 into 15 meter it is including pulley height everything 15 meter it is 1411.49 kilo newton meter Now, that is the maximum body moment. Now, vertical force on the pier will be T max sin 30 or sin theta, sorry, sin alpha, and this is also same T max sin theta or T max if you take out it is sin theta plus sin alpha t max is nothing but t it is 1138.49 to sin theta 18.435 and sin 30 we get 929.21 kilo newton that is the vertical force on the tar that is about this second problem only it is pulley. The extra thing is on the cantilever. That is bedding moment. That it is shown here. Okay, because of the vertical cantilever, point load acting at the free end, and that can be calculated. The bedding moment. That is the second problem. I will come to the next problem. Here. Slightly extra things that we have to find here. Come to the new problem. A light flexible cable. This is the light flexible cable. 18 meter long 18 meter long that is length of the cable you should be very careful 18 meter is the action length of the cable measured along the cable 18 meter is supported at two ends at the same level supports are 16 meter apart this is 16 meter got it Yeah. This is eighteen meter. This is supported between the supports sixteen meter apart at same level. 
this height is not given dip is not given that is the question this 18 meter and 16 meter the cable is subjected to UDL load throughout 1 kilometer determine the reactions developed at the support so simple nothing else on the other side backstay or anchored side nothing is asked now for this the formula that I told equation of the parabola and the length of the cable this formula we have to remember L is equal to L plus 8H squared by 3L we know the formula capital L means actual length this here L is capital L is 18 meter span small L is 16 meter H we have to calculate first that means we have that equation therefore L is equal to small l plus h h squared by 3l l is the span and h is the dip capital l 18 meter small l 16 8 by 3 into h squared by 16 from this dip central dip or maximum dip is 3.46 now they ask you to find the reactions that's all now sigma f y is equal to 0 means v a will be equal to total load divided by 2 intensity of udl is 1 length over which it is distributed nothing but span is 16 divided by 2 it is 8 kilo newton now sigma mc is equal to 0 by considering left side minus h into this minus h because about c it is anti-clockwise minus h into this small h that is 3.464 that is h into 3.464 it is anti-clockwise minus and VA it is causing a moment like this that is VA is VA we know 8 kilo newton that is H into its distance it is 8 half of 16 and minus this UDL 1 into 8 into 8 by 2 got it yeah H into 3.464 that is minus VA VA is 8 it is clockwise because like this 8 into 8 half of 16 meter about C here yeah. then UDL
like this it is anti clockwise that is minus 1 into 8 into 8 by 2 that's equal to 0 from this h will be equal to 64 minus 32 divided by 3.464 64 minus 32 it is 32 divided by 3.464 it is 9.237 kilo Newton is the horizontal reaction that is so that is here here where is it ah, 9.237 in a short form it is done just by applying sigma mc from first principle it is shown in this calculation 9.237 kilo newton now t will be maximum at support that is here that is t maximum will be h square plus v a square under square root that is h is 9.237 VA or VB V it is 8 it is 12.22 kilo newton maximum tension in the cable its horizontal inclination is given by that is T max cos theta is equal to H here T max cos theta or if you want Here, yeah. Emax, its inclination is theta. This is H. Therefore, T max cos theta is equal to H. T max we know h we know theta will be cos inverse of h by t max we get that cos inverse of h by t max 40.898 degrees that is this problem. Hope you understood. We will take some more problem in the next class. We have solved all the three types of problem. Almost similar. We will take another problem. If these supports are at different level, how to? analyze In the next time i'll take those things okay okay